Hey everybody, what's it Fox Gaming here? So today I wanted to review the Regulus Exotic Pistol. This sidearm is obtained from the Iron Horse Raid. Um, it's actually not too difficult to get. I've been delaying this for a while, but I just decided to knuckle down and get it because I wanted to get this content out for you guys. And um, <laughs> I've just tested this and it's actually really good fun and, and perfectly viable even in heroic content if you build the appropriate build. My build is nothing special. I've just literally gone for a headshot build because that's how the, the weapon works. So first of all, to obtain the weapon, you need to complete the raid once from start to finish on normal. You will obtain two projects to hand in a full set of Foundry Bulwark and a full set of Future Initiative. The chest and the backpack only come from the raid. You don't need to loot those yourself from an enemy. You can get somebody else to drop them for you from anywhere, although they craft them off so they can't drop them. Once you hand in the full six pieces for both brand sets, you'll then get a load of materials back and you can just craft them as you get the blueprints for all six pieces as well. So that's really nice. You don't actually lose out too much there. Um, from that stage, you then need to just hand in a bunch of random stuff. It'll ask you for like 511, Wyvern, um, Badger Tough, uh, Petrop Gloves, I think. You can't craft those. You do need to go around and loot them. So just go to the respective places on the map for targeted loot. Anyone at all will work. Um, once you've done those two projects and handed in six random pieces across both projects, the so 12 in total, um, you need to complete the raid one more time. Make it a key run because you will need to open the chest at the end to do it on a fresh week. Uh, you get one exotic component from each boss and then you get the fifth and final one from the final chest once you've killed Morozova right at the end. You don't need to obtain them all in one run. So if you just, you know, you, you, your clan don't do key runs for whatever reason, that's fine. You can just open the chest once you've got five keys and you're guaranteed to get one key from Morozova every time you kill her, um, even if it's all within one week. So you can just do the raid over and over. Once you've done that and you get all five components, you hand them in for the projects. You then need to hand in a police 868 which is a magnum pistol that can be crafted that's all I did I literally went and crafted it handed it in boom there's the regulus so it's quite easy to do it takes a little bit of time but there's no difficulty involved other than completing the raid itself so the regulus pistol let's have a look at it so its base damage is really high what we're going to do is we're actually going to compare this to the liberty <clears throat> So the talent, if you look on the right side there, Regicide, headshot kills create a 5 meter explosion dealing 400% weapon damage and applying bleed to all enemies hit. Um, sorry, just to clarify, if you hear a bit of background noise, it is uh, we're going through some pretty intense thunderstorms in the United Kingdom right now, so you might hear a lot of rumbling. It's not me sat here hungry, it's, it's just the weather. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to need a, a yacht to get to work or something because it is absolutely pouring it down, so apologies if you can hear that in the background. Um, so yeah, so you get pistol damage and headshot damage. Now if you look at the base damage in comparison to the Liberty, which is, was already the hardest hitting pistol in the game, it's quite a fair bit higher, and it only fires a little bit slower, so this thing definitely packs a punch. Now does that mean that it is the best pistol in the game for raw damage? Actually no. I mean, technically speaking it could be, because if you utilise the explosion against other enemies in the area, it works really well. So there are certain missions where the enemies always come out of one door, um, that yes, it would hit high damage numbers, but I will say this, the Liberty, just for raw damage, is better. Because since they buffed it, if you look at the Liberty or Death Talent, hits grant 2% weapon damage, stacks up to 30 times. Um, and this also comes with damage to targets out of cover as well, which is a very powerful attribute and the best in-game just for raw damage. You know, the, the Liberty does fire faster, it has more in the mag, and its damage isn't that much lower. So you can really ramp up the damage on this. But we're not here to look at that today. This is purely to do with the Regulus. And, you know, this thing does hit really hard. The explosion isn't based by explosive damage in any way. So you don't need to worry about China Lie or Grupo Sombra um, or Demolitionist. So what I decided to do was to go for Sharpshoot here because it gives us more stability. And like I think most people have done with this, I've decided to go for a Headhunter build. Because Headhunter is the most effective way to buff your weapon damage in-game at the moment. As you can hit 1250% as long as your headshot damage is greater than 150%. So you definitely need to make this a headshot build. And if you look at the reticle, it's totally unique. And this is the most accurate pistol in the game. It always lands the bullet perfectly on that. As long as you let the recoil reset, the bullet will always land perfectly on that reticle. So, uh, oh, well, that was loud. So, yeah, that, that it does have a very unique reticle, which I really like. Headhunter as well. Um, I will say this. Chain killer is a waste of time. Um, you do not need to worry about chain killer for any headshot build. A lot of people that spec into headshot builds will run something, I, I guess, not too dissimilar to what I've done. Mine's just a bit of a mishmash, but they'll probably go for something like um, the punch drunk because it gives you 20% headshot damage, one providence, um, and then maybe go for like, uh, I don't know, three aces and eights or get some air oldie in there or something. Um, 
Chain Killer is a, a Walker and Harris, which doesn't fit very well at all into headshot builds. You just want to go as much headshot damage as possible. And the only difference is that it ramps up by 150% each time. You can literally hit that 1250% cap after like three or four kills. And the total damage of perfect and standard headhunter is identical. And as you're probably going to get your first kill from a sniper anyway, you don't need that 150% over the 125. So this is personal opinion, but I truly believe that perfect headhunter from the chain killer Walker and Harris chess piece is a waste of time. If you want a headshot build, don't put Walker and Harris in there. Just focus on Air Oldie, Providence, Punch Drunk, Aces and Eights, all of the above. So we've gone for, of course, Punch Drunk because it's Douglas and Harding. We've got the 20% pistol damage. And just remember, if you want to make a build similar to this, to put the 15% pistol damage on your specialization. Um, you know, as of TU11, I believe they're just going to unlock it for every weapon. But the launch of this video is TU10.1. So just make sure you've got that turned on. Um, this is a Providence chess piece and wh what I've done here you can see is I've got headshot damage and critical hit chance and I've kind of tried to do that across the board. So the same here, of course it comes with 20% headshot damage, I've rolled critical hit chance. Um, the Providence chest is exactly the same with headhunter and I have gone for two Providence because again that's headshot damage and critical hit chance. The second piece is just my standard um, gift, my standard um, you know, sort of DPS based backpack. So this is perfect vigilance which I think is best in slot here. This is critical hit damage and chance. I could re-roll it to headshot damage, but I'm not going to bother because I use this for a lot of builds. And, um, you know, this won't be like a main go-to build for me. I've got two piece air roldy in there because the second piece gives us 15% headshot damage. And the ten first piece gives us 10% marksman rifle damage. What you may want to consider doing, I haven't bothered here, is starting your headhunter kills with a white death. Um, because that's pretty much going to guarantee the kill on a red or purple bar. And then you could switch to your regulars to continue on from there. Again, rolled into critical hit chance and headshot da uh, damage on both pieces, as you can see. And finally, we've gone for the um, the Fox's Prayer, just because I think these are really, really good. They're just best in slot for a lot of DPS builds. Um, but as I said before, try and go into as much headshot damage as possible with this build. Vigilance is quite effective with the Bulwark Shield or any shield, because if your shield takes damage, but your own personal armor does not, you actually retain Vigilance. You don't lose the buff. It's only if your own personal damage gets excuse me, your own personal armor gets hit, and that is also true for bonus armor. If you have bonus armor and vigilance is active and your bonus armor takes damage but your own personal does not, you still retain vigilance. So it's a nice little trick there for you for rocking perfect vigilance. I'm going to run the Bulwark Shield because this is primarily a pistol build. Um, <clears throat> and so, you know, it just means that I can get out of cover and play sort of a bit safer with it. So that's the build, pretty basic stuff. Uh, if we go over to the stats real quick, um, if you don't know, certainly on console, you can press the uh, options button on Xbox or the select button on PlayStation, and then you want to be holding down triangle or Y twice, and it'll switch between your weapons over to the regular pistol. You can see my crit chance with this build is basically cap at 60% there or thereabouts. Crit rate damage is low, but the headshot damage is very high at 206%. And for Chain Killer, you want to get it over 150% to make sure that the total damage gets buffed to 1250%. That in turn will buff the uh, explosion damage. So 400% weapon damage, but what it will do is factor in your headhunter first. So your explosion will do some pretty insane damage. Um, you know, I'm not too fussed about the bleed part of this. That is kind of useful. And if you maybe got some status effects in here. Another unique way to build this, I haven't seen this version yet, and I might consider doing it myself if I stick with this build, is to run the um, Anarchist Cookbook. If you can get one luckily with chance or headshot damage already on it, and then re-roll it to red, the Anarchist Cookbook is Golan, which gives you 10% status effects, and it gives you perfectly wicked. So that's another way to buff your damage, um, you know, without having to worry about being shot and losing it, uh, as is the problem with Vigilance. And of course, the Golan will give you more bleed time and damage. So, um, you know, that might be a smart choice as well, but... Build, build it how you want you know it's it's a fun stupid build it's not like a top tier meta build however this thing does hit pretty hard as you can see oh sorry now i'm on normal here so that's probably why um i'm going to change my mission to heroic of course um woo. the only reason i'm on normal is because i was doing the hunters quite recently and i haven't actually changed it yet now this is the only problem i found with this weapon you can get flinched out of your headshots really easily as long as you take your time with it and use the bulwark shield, it's not too bad. So what we're going to do, we're going to put this mission on heroic. And as you can see here, we do have... Um, where does it show it there? Oh yeah, right at the top there, we do have pistol arrow on. Start with no ammo, hostiles kill with the side armor, the only ammo source. So I'm literally just going to be using my pistol here, so I thought, why not get the extra ammo? You see the headhunter talent is already propped there. The to to the get them out oh yeah, this is the Black Tusk version, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. <clears throat> 
I did a little bit of testing in the starting area before and I wasn't even paying attention to that, but I suppose them coming down on helicopters was a big clue. So we're now on heroic. That bleed might be enough to kill this guy, but we're going to shoot him anyway. No, stop flinching me. Oh, I missed. Six million or nearly seven million damage there. Oh, ten million because we had headhunter propped. Get yourself ready, agent. So yeah, this this thing does hit pretty hard. And you can already see on the mission there, just sort of next to my radar at the bottom that I'm on heroic with that pistol arrow. Well, let's see if we can get the headshot. It's a shame. Wow, killed everybody. Nice. 12 million damage there. If I could actually land my shots, I might be able to kill this guy as well. Ah, oh, lost my buff. Damn it. Never mind. So yeah, this is uh, it's pretty good fun. I mean, that was without a headhunter proc there, and it's still one shot the other guy because it's doing 400%. So as long as they're a range of that five meter explosion, it's going to do four times the pistol damage. But the, the, this, this is the problem with it. The explosion is just too small. I think this could be really viable. I mean, that was a 10 million headshot there. And of course, the explosion would have been... Um, well, it doesn't base it off of headshot damage. It bases it off of weapon damage. But um, headhunter buffs weapon damage, not headshot damage. So uh, that's why it's the best, best thing to run with it. 12 million a headshot from a pistol. And this is the only pistol that you can get away with this, to be fair. like You wouldn't be able to do this with the Liberty, because that thing has um, probably one of the worst handling stats in the game. And the fact that this has that unique reticle that does allow you to realign your shots each time is awesome. Ooh, we'll see later everything in this room. Six million. No. What? How's that? Oh, wow, my accuracy. I'm missing every single shot here. There we go. <laughs> Stick your head up. Stick your head up. Boy. Damn it. Um, yeah, so, you know, if you've got a pretty poor aim like I did, this might not be the build for you. But, I, I mean, I'm not exactly having difficulty clearing this mission. Kill this guy. There we go. Killed everything in one shot. You love to see it. And the bulwark shield is definitely the right choice there. Now, this is where he's going to struggle against... Uh, enemies like that. I think he's the last one in the room, so yes he is, so let's go and kill him. But thanks, Senna, because this thing does pack such a punch, um, I mean, if you look at the stats, so what is it, 650k over 160 RPM, this is 180 RPM and just 450k, so its one shot potential is higher than an M1A, and obviously it fires a lot slower, but not, well, not a massive amount slower, so... Um, yeah, it's limited by things like range, handling, only six in the mag, uh, excuse me, eight in the mag. Where's the six? Yes, it is, yeah. So it definitely has some limitations, but, you know, it, it does put in some damage, for sure it does. <laughs> it's so satisfying. Let's just get him out of the picture for a second, try and build a small headshot stacks. Apparently that wasn't a headshot, really? Can't even really see this guy. Stick your head out. Oh, he stopped just before. And this is what I find with um, pistols that for some reason the flinch in them seems to be horrific compared to a lot of other weapons. Wow, nearly one shot that just from a single tier of headhunter. Just because this thing hits so hard. So I'm glad that I've got that great hit chance on it as well. Oh, there we go. Serious trauma detected. <clears throat> oh, there's a helicopter coming in here. We'll better pull back. I'll probably clear this wave and then we'll um we'll sort of finish up. But I just wanted to demonstrate that it can be used in heroic content and that it is really good fun to do so as well. And it lands headshots quite consistently from that sort of range as well. 
No, you won't. You will not get to the minigun. Yeah, so as long as you take your time with it, it's actually not too bad to land headshots, even with aim as terrible as mine. Oh, he's gone up there. Can't see what I'm shooting at. <laughs> yeah, I like this pistol. I like it. It's good fun. I've got, um, I've, if you haven't already seen it, I do have a, uh, a Ravenous review that I put out as well. That is fantastic. It's one of the best boss mel weapons in the game. And it's certainly the best for just general heavy mel. Anything that has sort of armor plating. So, you know, your typical, your big chungas, as everyone calls them, your heavies. Um, it's really strong for that. So, check out that review as well. That's the other weapon that comes from the Iron Horse Raid. That one, unfortunately, is limited to RNG. It's just a 10% drop chance from the final chest. Um, but anybody can drop it for you if they already have one. So... Um, you know, we've, we've got on our clan, I think we've given out three or possibly four already, just from people that already have them and dropping them out for our newer clan members. So we'll, we'll call the video quits there. That's, that's sort of um, everything that I wanted to demonstrate. It is really good, definitely. It's, it's you know, per shot, its damage is incredibly high, um, and it does have some nice utility as well with the bleed and the explosion. Is it better than the Liberty? I'm going to say no, but it's a lot more fun, and with the right build, it can help put... Uh, huge amounts of damage. Um, I just think the Liberty is a bit too good because generally speaking if you want a, a high damage um, pistol build you're going to have to use a bulwark shield and the Liberty not only grants a huge amount of damage from its stacks but it can repair the shield just from landing a single headshot so um, but I definitely think this is worth the grind and I'm not even going to call it a grind because it's so easy to get you just have to do the raid a few times and hand in some stuff. Um, yeah it, it put a build together, spec into headshot damage put on a bulwark for sure um, I can pretty much guarantee be able to clear a whole mission through this certainly on challenging and you know and if your build is good enough um, on heroic as well so thank you very much for sticking through to the end I hope you did enjoy the review please let me know your thoughts on the regulus and how you've specced into it if you've got any useful tips and tricks do you want to see some conflict footage with it let me know thank you very much for watching again and I will see you all in the next one peace